Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and we're going to look at normal distribution and solving for the probability that x is less than a given value. Remember we have our three basic steps. We're going to convert our value of x to a z-score. We're then going to locate that z-score in the normal distribution table. And then we're going to have to interpret that area from the table in the context of the question that we've been asked. At six months old, an English Bulldog puppy weighs on average 30 pounds with a standard deviation of four pounds. If the weight of these puppies are approximately normally distributed, what's the probability that a puppy will weigh less than 27 and a half pounds? So we've represented this problem on the curve. I have my mean and my standard deviation that was given to me. We wanted to know the probability that the puppy will weigh less than 27 and a half pounds. It's our value of x. This area represented by this arrow is the portion of the curve that we're solving for. So remember our first step is to calculate that z and we're going to do that by simply taking the 27 and a half pounds, our value of x, subtract it from the mean of 30 pounds and then divide by the standard deviation of 4 pounds. That's going to give us a z, a negative z of 0 0.625 and we're going to round that on up to a z of negative 0.63 and that negative 0.63 is what we're going to look for in our normal distribution chart. So I have an excerpt from our normal distribution chart and we're going to look for negative 0 0.63. So we'll start with our negative 0.6 we're going to come across that row until it intersects with the column of 0.03. Now we know the area to the left of a negative z of 0 0.63 is 0.2643 or 26.43 percent. Because we were solving for the probability of this puppy weighing less than or less than or equal to 27 and a half pounds. We're moving in the same direction as this cumulative normal distribution table so we don't have to add or subtract anything. We're going to be able to use that 2643 is going to give us the answer of 26.43 percent which is the probability that a randomly selected pu puppy would weigh less than or equal to 27 and a half pounds. As always, I hope that you found this useful and I thank you so much for watching.